So you want a $2,000 guitar, but you can only afford a $200 guitar. Like this one from Orangewood. I'm going to show you in this video a couple different techniques, both on the technical side and on the recording side that you can do to turn your $200 guitar into a $2,000 guitar. Now before I get into this video, I'm just gonna play what this guitar sounds like, just with this little lapel mic. Sounds fantastic. Plays great, feels good. I think to understand how to change a uh, sound of a guitar, you first have to understand the sound of the guitar. And just by playing this guitar, I can feel that it is on the brighter side. And I've always found with more expensive guitars that they tend to be a lot warmer and rounder sounding as opposed to kind of a more higher frequency sound that you get out of this. So that's the tip that I want you to keep in mind throughout this video, catering to the tone of your guitar. What does it do well? What does it do not so well? Figure out what that is and bear it in mind as you play. If your guitar is really snappy and tinny sounding, then consider using your fingers or the round edge of a pick to kind of round out that sound, make it a little bit more expensive sounding. The next tip I have for you to make your guitar sound a little bit more expensive is to play some expensive guitar chords. Maybe you like playing bar chords. What if we took those same chords but voiced them a bit more luxuriously? Now to complement that luxurious sound, maybe we want even more luxurious chord voicings. Maybe an interval like an added nine. And again, going for a very full sound here, we're going to try and vary the rhythm a little bit to fill in some of the harmonic space. So, so far we have some expensive chords and some luxurious timing differentiation between those luxurious chords. Now, a little recording tip that I have for you, doubling a guitar line. Hear the difference between what is just a single guitar line, this thing I was doing. Listen to when the double comes in and feel the richness. Does this still sound like a $200 guitar to you? I think we're climbing in price. Now, going back to the very first thing that I said, catering to the tone of the guitar, the sound of the guitar, what it does well. I think that this guitar has a really nice high end, almost biting if you don't play it correctly. Uh, but that can be used to our advantage. So why not add a couple of voicings of the chords that are going on right now, a C to a D type thing, and add some very kind of timbreish, tinny sounding things in the background to really complement. And again, having a little bit of variation in the rhythm, further filling out that sonic landscape we've established. <laughs> Oh, this is getting good. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I just did, but a little bit higher up in the register. Let's see how this guitar performs up where the intonations can start to get a little fuzzy for some guitars. I think we are very close to sounding like a $2,000 guitar, don't you? 
But first, I think we need something else. And I think we're gonna actually take out the pick. Now, I was avoiding using a pick on this guitar just because, like I mentioned, it's very bright. I don't want to be sharp in the sound. I want to be very round and rich sounding. That is what I consider to be an expensive guitar sound. It's something that's full and rich bodied. Uh, but we're obviously achieving that with this guitar, so we have a little bit of headroom to have something rhythmic happening in the background. Again, varying the rhythm, filling out the landscape, something very simple like this. <laughs> Well, what do you guys think? Pretty good, huh? Didn't, didn't sound like a $200 guitar, did it? it? Sounded more like a $2,000 guitar. Maybe more expensive. I'd like to thank my friends at Orangewood for sponsoring this video. And this guitar is awesome. I'm gonna play it all the time. I know this is kind of a silly concept. How do you make this guitar sound like it's more expensive than it really is? Uh, I think what it really comes down to is practicing. My favorite guitar players can sound like themselves and sound amazing on whatever guitar they pick up, and that should always be the first thing on your mind. Not necessarily gear, but what you can do with the gear. So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did. Until next time, keep shredding.